Hi. So today I decided, after reading an article posted in 2004 by a lady who was complaining about how we can send things to Mars but we can't create a better umbrella, I decided to create a video showing you how you are wrong, basically. Because uh, any issue that you have with an umbrella is not the umbrella's fault. It's your fault. There's a proper way to use an umbrella and an improper way to use an umbrella. Most people haven't been formally taught or educated as to how to correctly use an umbrella. So that's why I'm here right now today to explain to you how to properly use an umbrella. If you find yourself getting wet while using an umbrella, then just refer to this video. Just remember this video and you will never get wet again. It's pretty simple. So let's... Uh, Start with umbrellas. Ooh, that squeak, right? Okay. So I have a bunch of different umbrellas. This is a big umbrella that's a backup umbrella that I use. This was my umbrella as a child. Super duper nostalgic quack. This is my umbrella as of this current moment. Call the cops, see what I do. It's animal print. I don't care. I think I look schnazzy with it. Also, you know, that's fucking cool, right? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate all of the likes that you're giving me right now with the head of that. Okay, so check it out. Using an umbrella the proper way. If this video were attached to this bit of the umbrella lanyard uh, when it was sold, Nobody would be complaining about this ever. So, first order of business. Open up an umbrella. Bada bing. Okay. Pretty basic stuff so far. We've opened an umbrella. This is not going to be step by step by any means. So, I'm going to expect you to fill in some pretty simple gaps using your best judgment. Check it out. See the size of this umbrella. Why is that light so bright? See the size of this umbrella. Notice that size is compared to my shoulder size. Right. Now that we've established that they're basically the same size. That looks... That looks bad. Um, <laughs> imagine this is about the same size. Because, more or less, it is. This is about eh, three inches on either side more. Uh, maybe six. I'm not sure. Don't be that guy who's walking down the street with a space satellite golf umbrella because other people have umbrellas too. Bumping umbrellas is maybe the most awkward of social interactions that can occur between two strangers. That and getting shot. Pretty awkward stuff. So we're going to take our umbrella that we've established the size. By the way, when you're buying an umbrella, yes, they do come in different sizes. Have a look-see. And when you are purchasing them, open them. Don't believe in the superstition that you're going to get bad luck. <laughs> Three days later, article posted everywhere online. Kid who makes a video in his mom's basement gets killed because of that luck video posted on YouTube. Anyway, this is something you should do. You should open it up in the store. Make sure that you have the correct size because the last thing you want to do is purchase something, not open it because of a silly superstition come home and realize that you bought the wrong thing. So, we're going to take our umbrella and put it above our heads. Now, this this is what makes me so, so shocked whenever I'm outside. When I see it raining really bad, horizontally in sheets, and people do this. I'm still getting wet! Of course you're still getting wet. You're holding it above you. The rain is not coming down like this. It's coming like this. And this is how to properly use an umbrella so that you don't look like that guy. Okay, so here's your umbrella. Look at the rain in front of you. Directly in front of you, how is that rain falling? If that rain is falling like this, you're fine. You've done the step one. If your rain is falling like this, however, what you want to do is you take your umbrella and you angle it that way. See? See how that's going to work now? Cool. So, we're walking forward. Great. Good news. 
Now, next order of business is to look to your left or to your right, see which way the rain is falling there. Same thing that we just did. We look at the angle in front of us and we match our umbrella to that angle. So we look to our side, let's say that it's raining like this from towards my nose to my butt, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this umbrella and we're going to angle it forward. So now you're matching the angle of the rain. That's the idea. You match the angle of the rain so that it doesn't rain on you. And sometimes, like a goalie, if you put your umbrella out farther, you will have more space that's being guarded by rain, essentially. So. When you see that asshole who looks like that asshole walking around with his umbrella like out here and he's like and you're the guy like this, you're actually the one doing it wrong. The guy who looks like an asshole who looks like he's trying to intentionally not use his umbrella is actually the guy who's using it right. He's not getting a single drop on him and you're drenched by the time you get inside. So. That works with every umbrella. I mean, it, it's not about the tools. It's about it's about you using your umbrella right. You know, this works just as fine. It's a little bit bigger. It has this thing where you pop the thing and then it goes boom. Doesn't you know? It doesn't matter what you use. You could probably even get away with using this in a pinch. The idea is that you use it correctly. You have to use your umbrella the right way. If you don't use your umbrella the right way, not the biggest golf umbrella in the world is not going to save you. If you're walking down the street, it's raining torrentially straight down like a shower, and you're holding your umbrella like you're in a goddamn musical. Oh wait, I'm not so far. Okay.